Hi, my name's Julian. As you can see, the weather is beautiful today. I love my car. I love its colour, I love its interior, and I love its engine. But there's something about it that just doesn't do it for me, and that is the steering wheel. Many steering wheels today can be boring to look at. Just like in my BMW 520Li, I just really don't like the look of it. So I've decided to go ahead and present you with the Muin steering wheel cover. It's customizable, unique, unique for each model of car. As I will show you today, the process of mounting it onto the steering wheel. If you'd like to follow me, I'll show you its interior. As you can see, the box comes with a set of instructions. Instructions clearly show you how to sew the product onto the steering wheel. Afterwards, you can find a set of the various objects needed to sew the product onto the steering wheel. You have the yellow blade, the adhesive tape, the double-sided adhesive tape, the thread that comes with a sewing needle as well, and also a thimble. I will now pass the product to the work over here. The first step is to check whether your new steering wheel cover exactly matches the size of your steering wheel. Place the cover on your wheel and adjust the location until it fits. Make sure the edges line up. If it does not fit, please contact our customer services. If it does fit, we can move on to the second step. For the fourth step, use the yellow blade to fit the cover into the hard to reach gaps and smooth the edges. While inserting the material into the gap, make sure that the adhesive rooms a V-shape, preventing the leather from tearing. Now he is going to choose the colours that we have ch chosen between two colours, red and blue. He has chosen blue. What we will now do is burn the thread to break it. Doing so, he will now take the needle, pull the nut pull the thread through the needle you will burn the end to make it easier after pulling the thread through the needle you'll now make a knot as you can see he has not finally made the knot The second stitch must go through both the layers from the outer lining. Use the original thread of the cover, that which marks 5mm, to sew along the gap.
We have reached the final part, as I mentioned before, you will now tie a knot. You can either tie a knot or use a lighter and burn the end. This will prevent the thread from unraveling. Now, now we have reached the final part. We adjust once more. Pushing the material into the gap. As you can see, it's both comfortable and appealing to the eye. I can definitely say I'm very satisfied with the final product. The threading, the suede and the leather. Just as comfortable as it needs to be.